द फ्रूट फ्लाई ड्रॉसिफ्रो मैगनोकेस्टर हैज बिन एक्सटेंसिवली स्टडीड फॉर ओवर अ सेंचुरी एज अ मॉडल ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर जेनेटिक इन्वेस्टिगेशंस इट ऑल्सो हैज मेनी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विच मेक इट एन आइडियल ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर द स्टडी ऑफ एनिमल डेवलपमेंट एंड बिहेवियर न्यूरोबायोलॉजी and human genetic diseases and conditions but why what makes it such a good model to benefit medical studies a good model organism needs to share on the molecular level many similar features and pathways with humans it turns out that approximately 60% of a group of readily identified genes that are mutated amplified or deleted in a diverse set of human diseases have a counterpart in drosophila studying these genes in drosophila let scientists bypass some of the ethical issues of biomedical research involving human subjects the fruit fly has many practical features that allow scientists to carry out research with ease first of all a very short life cycle ease of culture and maintenance and a low number of chromosomes a small genome size in terms of base pairs but giant salivary gland chromosomes known as polyteen chromosomes let's explore this advantages a bit more and then dive into how the fly has helped us understand a wide range of human conditions the female fruit fly about 3 mm in length will lay between 750 to 1500 eggs in her lifetime the life cycle of the fruit fly only takes about 12 days to complete at room temperature After the egg is fertilized the embryo emerges in near about 24 hours the embryo undergoes successive molts to become the first second and the third instar larva the larval stages are characterized by consumption of food and resulting growth followed by the quiescent pupal stage during which there is a dramatic reorganization of the body plan followed by the emergence of the adult fly because the flies themselves are quite small near about 1 mg you can raise a lot of them at once traditionally flies have been raised in quarter pint milk bottles using a well ripened banana as food although more often a corn meal agar mixture is now used Genetic experiments can be done in a shell vial with just a few flies. Thus many different mutant stocks can be maintained and numerous experiments carried out in a small lab space. When large amounts of material are needed, large population cages which hold up to 50,000 flies in a cage. That means that scientists can collect and harvest hundreds of grams of embryos larvae or adults at a time the material can be frozen in liquid nitrogen and then used as the starting point for preparing enzymes such as rna polymerase 2 or for purifying chromosomal proteins such as histones or for analysis of chromatin structures the genetic information in all cells is carried in the chromosomes packed in the cells nucleus as with humans the chromosomes of drosophila melanogaster come in pairs but unlike humans which have 23 pairs of chromosomes the fruit fly has only four a pair of sex chromosomes together designated chromosome 1 along with three pairs of autosomes leveled 2 through 4 chromosome 4 is the smallest and is also called the dot chromosome it represents just near about 2% of the fly genome the low manageable number of chromosomes was a key attraction of this organism in early genetic studies 
Indeed, some classic genetic analysis of mutations and mapping of mutants of specific chromosomes in Drosophila were used to determine the ground rules for the transmission of genes. In terms of base pairs, the fly genome is only around 5% of the size of the human genome. That is 132 million base pairs for the fly, compared with 3.2 billion base pairs for the human. In terms of the number of genes, however, the comparison isn't nearly so lopsided. The fly has approximately 15,500 genes on its four chromosomes, whereas humans have about 22,000 genes among their 23 chromosomes. Thus, the density of the genes per chromosome in Drosophila is higher than for the human genome. Humans and flies have retained the same genes from their common ancestors over about 60% of their genome. Based on an initial comparison, approximately 60% of genes associated with human cancers and other genetic diseases are found in the fly genome. The parallels between the genomes of Drosophila and humans are central to using these tiny flies to explore human development, behavior and genetic disease as discussed earlier. Often the genes associated with these attributes in humans have closely matched fly counterparts and there are many examples of conditions in Drosophila that parallel human conditions and that can provide an opportunity to study the function of these genes and perhaps help in the development of valuable drugs. Thank you. This is all about for this video. If you like this video and its content, please thumbs up. And if you have any query regarding this video, please put it in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe.